This is my second attempt of trying to install a hydraulic handbrake in this car. Part one, I had the swaggier inline hydro using the stock handle. Um, I can't get it to work quite well. So what I did is I ordered a new, another handbrake. So right here we got our IRP hydraulic handbrake, a pull up style. Got the Willwood Master on there, 0.625. So the first step of getting this guy in will be taking the old one out. So the old one, my light's kind of dying, but in here we got three bolts mounted it up. This uh, one, two, three, you can't really see them, but I'm gonna take those out move that one off to the side, keep the lines connected because as soon as I disconnect them, it's gonna piss fluid and I need to mount this thing before I attach it. I could put the lines in, but it just wouldn't be right. Um, so I have to take this out and then make a bracket for the new one. This is what we got, um, so. The new bracket for the new one will have to go around here somewhere. There's a lot of weird shapes, so we'll figure that out. I don't know if I'll bolt it together or weld it or haven't gone that far, but first I'm gonna build a plate for the handbrake to mount on. And that'll either be welded to this or have another plate coming up in sandwich. So probably gonna have to cut these stock tubes out um, just cause Kind of want to mount it right in here. That way I don't cut up my center console the most. And it'll kind of go this way and not interfere with the shifting. That's another part. We just, I just took the angle grinder, cut these tubes. Um, and I was wiggling one back and uh, sick. I wasn't going to weld to this, but I might have to now. I just worry about all this flammable in here. You can see it's very... Um, it goes up, back down, down here, so yeah, it's going to be interesting. The metal is obviously pretty thin, and so it can just be broken like that. So I just spent uh, most of the time making this, so this is a template. Uh, got a piece of steel already, and then this is going to be like my... Uh, I'm going to cut pieces out of this to get this to the height I want, so kind of just made a cardboard template. This fits in there nicely, I'll show you. But uh, I stacked two, three layers this way, a fourth, fifth on the inside, and then kind of a bunch on the back. So this will sit right here, sit right there, and it kind of has uh, some tilt, so that way the handbrake lays nicely. It had some clearance right here. So this is a very rough idea, but that way it's not hitting before it was and uh, it'll I'll move it over to this side but it's not going to interfere with shifting at all you can see the holes for the uh, trim so this way I'll only have to cut out a little back part of the armrest and hopefully not have to cut too much of my center console if any um, that guy the other handbrake this guy I would have had to cut a ton of the stuff out so I'm glad it didn't work. This one better work because I'm doing so much freaking work. Um, but I'm gonna make that out of steel, weld it all up. And I might weld it to the car because uh, then I wouldn't need to really do anything else. But then if I mess up the fitment or it doesn't work, I'm screwed. So I was originally gonna do this guy and then this bracket on the underside, which is from the other handbrake, uh, I have two, so I'm gonna cut this, drill holes in it. That way it'll be like a sandwich from the underside. All right guys, well, we're under the car and this is why you want to check stuff um, before you start designing. Okay, those holes are where the console mount and then the other hole is up there for like the back of the center console. So up in that hole, Oh, yeah, there it is. So see that? That's the light coming from above. So that's where I ripped out the cables to the stock handbrake. So that is in a sealed box. 
holding the center support bearing. So that's sick. Um, <laughs> that means I cannot put a plate here to sandwich because there's nowhere for me to put a plate unless I take out this entire bracing, drop, dry shaft, everything. That's not happening. I'll probably have to weld those holes shut or use like panel bond. But my worry is like sparks going in this can take uh, this little thing and if I blow through, there's nowhere to patch it up. Uh, so from the top side, this will make more sense. So those were all those light holes. That's where I was originally going to bolt the uh, bracket into, but I can't because the center support bearings right here. That's why when I try to look through here, it's dark. You can see there's metal. So these will either probably just have to weld these up and somehow protect this entire interior especially this flammable cylinder and back there but i bought a bunch of welding blankets so i guess those are going everywhere <laughs> we're freaking salvage tiling this car welding on it i mean we're repairing stuff but i don't know so the seat definitely gotta get out of here Get the f out of here. Welded one piece on this guy, and then I stacked three pieces. This welded them all together. Um, so it's a quarter inch. Should be pretty strong. So I'm gonna drill holes, weld some bolts through, make sure they fit on that, and then I'll start test fitting this to get welded in, I think, brother. Got some bolts, I have to cut them down, but these bolts all fit. I drilled these four holes. Um, I have to trim the bolts probably about halfway down. Since the holes are good, I'm gonna paint the bracket. Oh wait, I gotta weld. Just kidding. I um, also have to weld these guys in place. So I gotta trim them down, test fit, and then weld them to this plate. This one, I probably won't have to cut down, but this back one, I'll probably have to tack it and then grind most of the head down so it's like flush with this and then weld it fully. So a little tip when cutting bolts, um, either get the nut or a tap if you have it and run it all the way down and then cut and then back it up so it fixes the threads that you're gonna cut because they always get messed up. Big things happening today, we got the interior welded blanket covered. Um, this welding blanket was leaking fiberless. Oh, you can see one piece in my hand, but I'm starting to break out itch, so that's sick. Don't buy Amazon welding blanket because it sheds everywhere, and now I'm gonna have fibers all in my car, so that's sick. But I'm gonna work on trying to weld these little guys up and then welding the bracket to there. So I kind of marked it out, kind of see going as far forward as possible that way the handle is easiest to reach um yeah i hope i hope it goes well welding a quarter inch steel to probably like 20 gauge or 18 gauge sheet metal on the car after fighting all the fiberglass attacks i was able to make some goober welds in here not pretty but i mean it's It ain't going nowhere. Um, I patched one of the holes, and then since it's so thin, I was like, eh, and I'm welding right over it, so I didn't bother with another. But this puts our handbrake in the perfect position. It's fiberglass on the damn handbrake. Enough clearance that way. Hopefully the... Dude, there's so much fiberglass strands. I'm gonna write a terrible review for that. Um, but yeah, it should just bolt on right here. <laughs> Ideally, it would be like way up here, but I gotta be able to hit the buttons, go in reverse. So worst case, I can either get a different handle or make this longer somehow. Um, so now I'm gonna work on, oh my God, you see all the shiny? It's all fiberglass. Oh, and when I drive around, it's gonna go all up in my lungs. Can't wait. Sick. God damn it, that stupid blanket. I'm gonna see if I can return it or I'm gonna give him a one star. Look at this. You can see the strands. See those? The next step will be unbolting all this. 
getting new little crush washers and then rapidly putting them in here so um it uh yeah it doesn't leak everywhere this is going to be the in so that will go here and then this will be the out which will go right here this should fit i put this barb in so that should fit this line so i won't have to use this and then this guy should just fit right in here i hope <laughs> if not <laughs> i don't know right we got the handbrake bolted in that ain't going nowhere brother <laughs> big dilemma here so my light died one but this fitting i cannot get None of the banjo bolts I have fit in this. One does, but it's way too long. This is the one that fits this guy, but it's way too long. See, it's just that much too long. So I'm going to try to figure out the thread pitch of this. And I have this tap and die set and cut this one down to this thread pitch and hope that works. We're going to find out. Guess what, guys? It didn't work. Um, so I had to order uh correct fittings so shout out to drift hq they actually sent me a picture of the proper willwood size so for you to know three eights by 24 out seven sixteens by 20 in so with that info i was able to order the correct size off summit racing and this was the result um, i got a couple different fittings I didn't know what 100% was going to work. So, luckily, Willwood has a kit, so this should fit in the uh, handbrake perfect. But I went ahead and bought these just in case. God, these banjos are freaking huge, so yeah, you can't. This would take up so much space. So, I think I'm going to return these. And maybe these, these are just the same fitting, but the three. The AN side looks a lot larger, so hopefully I can get this one to work and then I can return these. This is pretty nice. So Willwood included a torque tightening spec, so 120 foot pounds and an inch pounds, so I'll use my little wrench to get there. Um, but that's good. It says do not exceed 144 because that's when you break. Ooh. Like I know, I'm an expert, so that's good so far so good i just threaded it by hand now i'm going to tighten it to the proper torque fit it on here oh yeah it's gonna fit hopefully good news uh my dad and I just helped me bleed the brakes again so we bled the rears um we got a lot of bubbles and then we were pulling the handbrake and it, he, he said it didn't get that tight whereas the old one did but i watched until no bubbles come out and so now when you pull it up it's that's like locking the brakes so i think it's gonna work because he did that and they locked up so i'm hyped this should work as you can see guys we got a working handbrake let's go i'm super stoked it works oh it works so well so yes yeah, ah, so fun. I'm going to get in so much trouble now. So there you go. You want it to work? Get a Willwood. Willwood Master. This IRP one looks sick. It's going to perform sick. All right. So now that that's in, we're going to try start fitting the trim. So this piece, I just kind of put it in there. I made some marks just to trim and we'll test fit it after that. Um, this back piece was hitting on the back of the master and then that bolt that sticks out um, kind of right in that area needs to be cleared there. So I'm going to cut all that off. So after going on a nice diet, I cut about, I cut a lot off. So it's basically like this side. So I just chunked it. There's a little more room here because of the parking brake, but I had to cut all this off. All put back together. It, it kind of fits. This thing, this thing never really fit, but ooh, 
Love that. Clean tin stuff. I don't think I ever went over the proper bleeding method. Um, I might have in the first video, but this is part two where it actually works. So to get the handbrake all good, masters right here. So you start with the rear passenger. So what I did is I bled the brakes normally. So since this car has ABS and the dual lines and whatever, um, pump up three three to four times um you'll kind of the brake pedal will get firm and then you have them release you crack the bleeder press the brakes all the way in close it then you let off the brakes so you do that until there's no bubbles then this side until there's no bubbles and then you start using the handbrake so exact same thing three three to four pumps crack the bleeder press the brakes and then pull the handbrake as you're doing it uh, close the bleeder let go of the handbrake slowly let off the brakes and you just do that until there's no bubbles on each side and that's how we got the handbrake muy bueno i hope you enjoyed like comment subscribe um, if you want and thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one